Hello people and uh, welcome back. Uh, I've been uh, searching around a bit to uh, some ideas. Um, Newman was talking about that he uh, feeds the other side. Eh? So um, you're speaking normally. In all the videos that I see, uh, it's one pulse, only one side. But we want to turn it around all the time north south north south so i was thinking i saw a video about somebody that uh, plays extra coils uh, on the sides like this and plays coils here and on the other side um, because i don't have much wire and uh, to make any coils i was like playing with the uh, existing stuff that i already had um, I have a toroid coil and there is a, a 24 and a 12 volt and 220 on it and I put I make my coil I put it in series with the other coil with the toroid coil what I get then is a sort of uh, bifolar winded uh, coil because the toroid is already a transformer so what I'm doing then is picking up the uh, AC what comes back from the high side, so the secondary, and the secondary it goes to a wave bridge, diode bridge, and the diode bridge brings it back to DC and puts it in this a capacitor bank of 80,000 microfarads, and that I take the minus go directly to the plus of the other side and I make a second commutator on the shaft so now that this is what I got on the other side so I have a little bit less more pearls than I have with the other side but I'm making a second pulse here and you can clearly see that on the scope Well, this is my uh, my uh, batteries on one side, and this is the other side that I'm pulsing from the power that comes back from the toroid and going into the capacitor, and then using to create the other pulse from the other side. So we have now more spikes because now we have like for every t rotation we have two pulses and you can clearly see that I'm having a nice waveform here and yeah it runs very smooth um, the battery here is not fully charged only the big car battery but I'm still getting like 80, you know, like 30 volts from there and 18 volts for the other side with two commutators so switching when I take this one away the other capacitor will slowly discharge so we'll go slower but when I start to run the coil again it will charge up so I'm not even using the back spikes I'm uh, creating actually more induction uh, by the toroid but normally if I make an induction it costs amps but if I put it in series uh, with uh, the existing coil, it, it will not consume more amps. It, this, is, this is running on 200 milliamps together. So I have some more excess energy pumping back to the motor. And you can really feel it on the shaft that you feel two pulses really. So yeah, that's what I wanted to share and uh, 
here is no capacitors uh, or no uh, transistor triggers involved. Um, I just went back uh, to the uh, hardware switching. Um, I make my commutators out of razor blades, very thin, always bend nicely and uh, are very silent. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's that's it. What I wanted to share. Oh yeah, and also there is another uh, access on the, the 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 green wires in this case, and that's another 12 volt, uh, another 12 volt uh, winding. And at 12 volt winding, I am going to go again to a wave bridge and going into a battery that was totally dead. Um, it's still a bit dead, but it already rise more than 2 volts. Uh, yeah, and motor didn't slow down, motor didn't use more amps. So, I think more excess energy is just uh, put some toroids in series with, uh, with, uh, with the rest of the coil. And you've got more generating power, so yeah. Good luck. Until next time.